Hi everybody, so first things first is priming. I'm using Max Painterly Paint Pot to pat that all over my lid and the inner corner. If you don't have a primer, you can use a concealer, either one will work. Next, we're gonna use the shade Noble. This is gonna be our transition shade that we put into our crease. You're not gonna really see it, but it's a nice base to help blend out all of your other shadows. When you're done with that, using the color Anthem, I think this is my favorite color of the palette, we're gonna create a halo effect and so you're just going to put this on the outer third and the inner third and I'm using circular motions to apply it. Then you're just going to take whatever's left on the brush and connect the two colors via the crease. Try not to go up too high, you want this pretty low on the crease. When you're done with that, we're going to take the matte black color in the name of black metal and doing the exact same thing, we're just going to apply it in a halo form but not connecting it through the crease. You're not going to take it into the middle, leave a little bit of the middle blank for the glitter. This does not have to be perfect because you're going to do a lot of blending and going back and forth. Um, so just apply your color, go in, apply some more of the purple just to continue to blend them but this isn't going to be the whole blending process later, we will do that. After you are done building up the color to the shades that you want, we are going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the color Amber Lights. I love this color. I use it so much. It's just gorgeous. And taking a flat shader brush from Urban Decay, we're just going to apply that on that blank space. You're going to go a little bit over the black. And again, it does not have to be perfect because you're just going to go in with the colors and blend. So it's okay if some of the colors fade. So once that's on, going back in with that black. And then I'm just going to use my finger to pat out the look. I didn't have any particular brush that I I felt was going to blend the look out seamlessly so I preferred just to use my finger and it worked pretty well um, and now I will go back in because then the black got a little bit faded and just do the exact same thing you'll find it's nice to have brushes but I think sometimes using your hands is one of the best tools that you have so take advantage of that I am going to take a big fluffy brush and blend out the crease area just so it's a little bit more sleek and after that I'm going to take this color here. It's a glitter liner from Hard Candy in the color Lace. I talked about this in my January favorites. I really, really like this glitter and I want to get more. And I'm just going to go over the middle. I feel like it helps give it more of a pop and it just brings the look together. I really, really like it a lot. Um, I added a little bit more to the other eye because I felt like I didn't have enough glitter. Instead of our traditional white or nude inner corner highlight, I'm going to take that lilac color in the name of Love and apply that to the inner corner whenever I am done with that it's staying away from my liquid wing eyeliner which is what I almost always do I'm going to take a black pencil liner from Urban Decay and I'm going to tight line and then I'm going to line my upper lash line but just using small little strokes to help make my eyelash line look thicker because I'm not going to wear false eyelashes today I wanted to say I hope you guys aren't getting tired of me using the Kat Von D palette. I have been using that a lot in tutorials, but I love this palette. It was worth every single cent, and if I spend that much money on it, I do want to make sure I'm using it. But I do have other looks that I plan on doing with different palettes, so those will be coming soon. I'm going to take the color Skulls and apply that to my brow bone. And then I wanted my inner corner to pop just a little bit more. So taking Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill, I'm going to apply this on the inner corner. For my lower lash line, we're going to take black metal and with an angled eyeliner brush we're just going to press that into the lower lash line and then using the brush that we applied anthem with we're just going to blend that out and give it a more smoky look and then I really wanted to add just a little bit more glitter so taking that lace glitter from hard candy we're just going to line the lower lash line I really like this I think it helped pull the whole look together without being too much because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do I never really know what I want to do with the lower lash line so I like this a lot and then the next thing to do after we get as much glitter as we want on our lower lash line is to curl our eyelashes and to apply mascara I'm using my Makeup Forever Aqua Smoky Lash uh, eyelashes would look really really good with this but I just wanted a really heavily mascaraed look so that's what I went with and I'm glad I did I really like how that came together and that is everything guys thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and any video requests please let me know in the comments down below my Instagram and email is always available so we can connect even more I hope you guys have a great day bye